Hi, my name is John Buse. I'm at the University of North Carolina and was asked by IDOC to talk about the ADA EASD consensus algorithm. Uh, this algorithm was first developed in 2006 and an update was uh, published in January of 2009. The original algorithm, perhaps the most revolutionary part of it was the recommendation that at diagnosis patients should be started on metformin therapy as well as going to see a registered dietitian and lifestyle coach uh, regarding comprehensive lifestyle intervention. So the idea was right at diagnosis, lifestyle intervention plus metformin. The new algorithm in 2009 um, had a few uh, important changes in it. So the recommendation continues to be that every three months patients should have an A1C and if the A1C is greater than 7%, the therapy should be advanced. Um, so now uh, there are uh, four second step therapies in patients that are unable to keep their A1C less than 7% with metformin plus lifestyle therapy. Uh, two are termed more well validated, and that's basal insulin or sulfonylurea, and two are termed less well validated, and that's pioglitazone or exenatide. Now the question often comes up, well, why would you even consider using a less well-validated therapy? Well, the specific recommendations from the ADA are to think about using pioglitazone or exenatide in patients who have uh, issues with hypoglycemia or concerns about hypoglycemia, and specifically to consider using exenatide in patients where weight is a major consideration because exenatide is among the few agents that are actually associated with uh, weight loss. When would you consider the more well-validated therapies? Well, if the A1C reduction that's required is greater, in general, sulfonylureas and insulin are associated with modestly better A1C reduction. Um, and also when cost is a major factor, you know, clearly at least sulfonylureas are very inexpensive. Uh, the older formulations of insulin are moderately inexpensive, but when you combine the cost of glucose monitoring, um, they're still uh, uh, fairly pricey. So I think for primary care doctors, the important uh, aspect of this algorithm uh, really is initially starting with metformin and lifestyle intervention right from the very first diagnosis. Um, secondly, the idea that you need to check the, blood, the A1C at least every three months and advance the therapy rapidly to get the A1C under 7% and keep it there. Um, and thirdly, that there are uh, agents for which we have enough information that we feel very comfortable, sulfonylureas, metformin, I mean sulfonylureas, insulin, uh, exenatide, and pioglitazone, um, but there are also many other classes of agents that can, you can use in individual patients based on your preference and the patient's preference. So for IDOC, this is John Buse. Thank you very much.